Today is Saturday, 4th of December, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is Building a Strong Desire. Our theme scripture is taken from Matthew 5, verse 6, and it says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Hallelujah. Sequel to our previous study, something else that fasting does for you is that it helps you build a strong desire. Pastor begins. Fasting helps nurse your spiritual hunger or desire for whatever you're praying about. Gradually, your desire moves from the soul realm to the spirit realm. It becomes a yearning of the spirit. Perhaps you're a cell leader, fellowship coordinator. Gradually, your desire moves from the soul realm to the spirit realm. It becomes a yearning of the spirit. Perhaps you're a cell leader, fellowship coordinator or church pastor, and you are praying for growth in your church or group. Pastor says there has to be a strong desire for the increase you are expecting, otherwise it may never happen. A strong desire attracts to you whatever the subject of that desire is. Fasting without a definite and clear desire will achieve nothing. Because of your focus in a time of fasting, you are able to attract through the Spirit the finer signals, messages and visions of the higher planes of the spiritual. Hallelujah. Yeah. As your spirit is thus inspired, you'll be quick to receive his word and follow the guidance he gives you. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. His word will light up in your spirit and illuminate your path. Suddenly, pastor says, you just know what to do, the steps to take that will bring about the results you desire. Praise God. In the preceding verse of scripture, the word understanding is translated from a Hebrew word that means or connotes the ability to apprehend. Pastor says, when God's word enters your heart, it gives you the ability to understand diverse subjects and circumstances such that you know exactly what steps to take. So, concluding, Pastor says, learn to develop a strong desire through fasting, prayer, and an unrelenting commitment to studying and meditating on the Word of God. Praise God and thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a prayer now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me, Dear Father, I'm positioned rightly to receive the instructions directions and guidance that come to me through the word as I pray and fast. My spirit is attuned to your signals and my desire for the propagation of the gospel and the salvation of souls around the world is fanned aflame. Your zeal in me glows even more. I'm sensitive to your direction for my next level of life and ministry. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, for further study, please read Romans 12 verse 11 of the Amplified Classic and Nehemiah 1 verse 4. Praise God. Some very striking points here, Pastor made. He said, Fasting helps you build a strong desire. Fasting helps nurse your spiritual hunger or desire for whatever you're praying about. A strong desire attracts to you whatever the subject of that desire is. Fasting without a definite and clear desire will achieve nothing. Mm. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. 
I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.